Delmarva Almanac welcomes you to Arts and Times, Delmarva's quarterly magazine and community calendar. Maurice Spector grew up on a dairy farm in Pennsylvania, where he learned to love the land and working with his hands. Now he lives on the eastern shore on another dairy farm, creating timeless paintings and unique sculptures. Maurice studied at the University of Miami in Florida. I actually lived on the eastern shore until I was five years old. We had a farm on the seaside outside of Snow Hill, Maryland, and I still have relatives down here in this uh, area. So uh, I've been coming down here duck hunting and fishing every winter and summer for just about my whole life. And uh, I moved back, well, I lived in Pennsylvania and worked as a photographer, worked in uh, New York City. Uh, I made a couple trips down to the shore and lived down here for a few years working as a handyman and that type of thing. And about 20 years ago, I moved back and bought this lovely farm on Punkatig Creek in Accomack County. This is an old historic farm. I, I didn't pay a lot of money for it. It's the heart of the farm. Uh, people have lived here for almost 400 years. House is not real old. It's not real fancy, but it's, I have beautiful trees and I'm right on the water and I have beautiful outbuildings. And uh, I guess this 20 years ago is when I started to actually become a fine artist. I was doing uh, folk art kind of stuff, had a gallery in New York City that was handling my stuff. And then I started painting and drawing. And I continue that every single day. I paint and I'm a sculptor now. I used to work in wood and I've moved on from wood to uh, stone. I was working in stone. Stone takes a long time to uh, carve. Uh, it's a very physical and something I really enjoy doing. I have uh, Carrera marble and I have a Portuguese limestone, which I buy from a friend down here and I get it at her cost, which is unbelievable. And I really enjoy doing that, but it's very time consuming. So I've um, switched to a concrete product now that's especially made concrete that um, adheres to a hard foam core that you sculpt and then you apply the concrete to it. And either I stain the concrete or I put copper foil on the concrete and it makes it look like a bronze sculpture. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. The seasons have an influence on what medium Maurice works in. It doesn't really get too cold here, but in the winter time, I love to paint. I really like to draw. I really like pen and ink, and uh, I, I I draw and paint all year. But um, summertime, I have a nice little shop in the milking barn, and uh, that's where I like to work. I carve in stone, and uh, I use various other products now. I get up early every morning, and I at least spend some time at my drawing table, but. Uh, a typical day is like an eight, a ten hour day, either sculpting or drawing or painting. I mean, I'm very disciplined that, that way. That's the only way you get things done. Now, I'll have two or three sculptures going on because I have to wait for them to dry. But when I start a painting, I, I, I use a pen and ink and watercolor so they dry quickly. And I like to finish something before I start something else. Maurice cites his influences as sculptors Henry Moore and Marino Marini. Well, I get started on a, on a sculpture, first I have to be inspired to do it. Uh, I do some figurative work. I like uh, female nudes. I like horses, which uh, are in my sculpture. And uh, I make a clay model of the sculpture, uh, a small clay model before I start. It's a lot easier. You make less mistakes when you do that. Uh, Painting and drawing just comes into my head, and I don't know where it comes from. It comes early in the morning, it comes at night, and it can come out of nowhere. And occasionally I have writer's block where nothing's going on up there, but uh, that doesn't last very long. I have a uh, 
quite a collection of friends who enjoy going out to the Barrier Islands, and that's uh, a big part of my work. Water, the surf, the things on the beach. We find Indian artifacts and fossils and whale bones. I really like bones. I like skulls. I had a whale skull a couple years ago that I gave to a museum in Pocomoke. And uh, sure, it, ins it inspires me. A little part of, like I can see a, a crow land on a, a tree and if it hits me right, it becomes a drawing or a sculpture. Right now, I'm, uh, I'm doing a s sculpture of a horse on the wind and I'm doing a sculpture of the birth of Venus in an ocean wave. And both of these are made out of a concrete product. And I'm very excited about them. And I have some birds underway too. I like the human form, uh, but I like to interpret it the way I interpret it. I like to put a female figure in a sphere uh, so the so the design of something is just as important to me as the uh, actual sculpture. The natural beauty of his surroundings is important to Maurice's creative process. I feel very well connected to everything around me right now. In my environment, I'm part of my community and I just love it. I mean, it's great. People always ask me, where are my things come from? And uh, I, don't under, I don't understand that. I'm not a very intellectual kind of person. But they uh, come from the heart instead of the mind, I like to think. And they come to you early in the morning. Uh, they can come to you actually at any time. Uh, you can see something and it just clicks. Um, I can't wait to go out to my barn and get started on the projects I'm starting on now. I, I have don't have a buyer for it. I'm a optimist, wishful thinking, uh, somebody's going to discover me before I die, I hope. Maurice says that everything comes together for him in Pungateague. I have a show here Thanksgiving weekend. We've had it for the last six years. Um, I have friends that uh, come here who are, who are artists that are set up and uh, we have uh, tents, we have uh, beer, wine, roast oysters and it's the most popular uh, uh, site on the venue. That's Thanksgiving weekend. It'll be Friday and Saturday. I'm very pleased with myself, pleased with my life. I have the best friends I've ever had and it's a wonderful place to live here. Maurice's work is available at galleries in Snow Hill and Onancock, and at a number of local shows. Find out more about this artist and more at artsandtimes.org. The print edition and this video are sponsored by Worcester County Tourism. Visit the beach and beyond. Thank you for watching. This has been a Moonshell production.